Hey guys, Muffin here, doing a commentary on the amazing Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. As you may not be able to tell, but I'm being sarcastic as this game was pretty crap. Really short, completed within a couple of hours, but I'll probably do it take a lot longer this time. Uh, very short screen. Uh, or say features available, blah blah blah. New adventure. Now on this, it's fun for some parts. The dueling is quite good until you unlock the super stun, whatever it is. Because you can just basically blast your way through everything. All you have to do is just tie them up or something and then just run at them. And basically one hit kill all the time. But we'll get to that a bit later. Hi, Ginny. Harry, you've been chosen. You're Gryffindor Quidditch captain. I knew you'd get it. You've not flown all summer, though, so you'd better get some practice. Come on, Mr. Chosen One. You can use my broom. Thanks. Oh, here's something that I really don't like. The flying on this is so stupid. Come on, then. This is all it is, every time, just flying through the stars. And you'll be able to tell when we're at school, when we're playing uh, Quidditch, that I am a very poor flyer. But yeah, when you're at school, when you've got the Quidditch matches, the reason that they suck so much is that you're quite happily going, oh yeah, Quidditch is going to be fun. but. No, you you do this, and then that was just the just training. Then you do it again for the actual match, and it's basically exactly the same. And you do this for every single Quidditch match, and it is very boring, very annoying, and I have no idea why I just hit into them. Can't get any boosts, or none that I know of. Uh, so this is it, just flying around following that little golden fucking ball. And if you go keep going through these little stars, you eventually get to the ball. Simple as that. Yeah, this sucks so much. Damn, I suck at flying. I hate that they have in games where like up is down and down is up. should be around here somewhere. I'll 
I'll see you later. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, this is Harry Potter. When did you get here? About half an hour ago. Didn't Ron tell you? I would have, but you've not let me get a word in. If you'd done these jobs for your mum, I wouldn't have needed to speak to you. Mum wants us to get rid of these cauldrons Fred and George had left in the garage. I'll give you a hand. Oh, that one smells far worse than the others. Oh, yeah. The fuck I just dropped it. Oh no. Uh. Moving them must have set everything up. Quick, oh my god. Them in the pond. You can't throw them in there. Save them washing them. Who knows what friend George mixed in there? Exactly. Just think of the the fish. Wow, fish. <laughs> As you can tell the graphics aren't <laughs> exactly amazing on this game. But you can see by her hair that she's going straight through her shoulders. I love you. Oh yes, Ronald. How very grown up of you. Come on, Harry. Let's get rid of those cauldrons before Mum starts moaning. But yeah, it's my job to get rid of these cauldrons, but apparently I'm supposed to be helping him. But he's too fucking lazy and shit at magic that Wish we could do this after every can't do lesson. fucking you shit himself. Well. Great. Let's get rid of the rest of them. Le let's fuck you on doing the whole fucking job here. Yeah, all of the spells are controlled on the right stick. You can move it with the left. Um, not much to say. Pond is very fucking dirty. Yeah. Look at it. Mum would have made us clean those out by hand. We'd have still been scrubbing them at Christmas. If you just take the time to learn some cleaning spells. Who wants to spend their time cleaning things up? This was much more fun. Yeah, very fun. Watching me throw cauldrons into a fucking pond. If you've read the book and watched the film, Why then you obviously around? tell that the book know. is but so much better than the film. Not. In my opinion, the film was a load of bollocks. It, I really didn't like it at all. And as you can tell, Why this like the film cut a lot of shit out of the book, and this game cut a lot of shit out of the film, and also the book. So basically, this film is the very minimal stuff which was in it, and uh, it's really stupid. I bought it because I thought it'd be a nice little free roamy like the first two. I think it was. But I mean, Chamber of Secrets free roam was the best. I, I, I love that game. Sneaking about listening in, were you, Potter? I knew I'd seen someone climb up there. Well, you enjoyed enjoy the, the trip, trip back, back to, to London, London Potter. Potter. Damn, what an asshole. And that load of bollocks is supposed to be Tonks that finds him, but oh well, that weird bitch finds me. What were you doing down on the floor? I was trying to find out what Malfoy's up to. I'm sure he's a Death Eater. I was wearing my invisibility cloak, but he must have seen me when I climbed onto the luggage rack. Maybe he saw your Raxburts. My what? Raxburts. Was he wearing Spectre Specs? You can see Raxburts through them. That's how I found you. Your brain's full of them. Right. Let's get to the castle. We're probably already in trouble for being late. Okay. Although I'm worried about tripping over things in the dark. Maybe we should use Luma. Maybe we should use Luma. 